To set up SEMgrep and CI with GitHub Actions, first log into the SEMgrep app with your GitHub account. Once you're logged in, go to Projects, Scan New Project, Run Scan and CI, and hit GitHub Actions. If you're a part of multiple organizations, you may see this menu pop up. Just select the GitHub account associated with the project that you want to scan. After a few seconds, this page will load showing you the projects that you can add SEMgrep to. If this page is empty or you don't see your project, then go to GitHub and make sure you have the GitHub SEMgrep app installed and added to your GitHub account. This is how SEMgrep will get the GitHub permissions to commit the initial YAML file and leave PR comments. The SEMgrep GitHub app can be found in the GitHub Marketplace. Once this is done, you can either stay in GitHub or go back to the app and click the link under Can't Find Your Project to go to the GitHub Applications Repository Access Settings. This will take you to where you can go into the SEMgrep app in GitHub, hit Configure, and you can manage which repositories we have permissions to access. So I want to scan this Python robotics repo, so I'll click this one and give it access and hit Save. This will take us back to the SEMgrep app, and you should be able to go to Projects, Scan New Project, Run Scan in CI, back to GitHub, and you should see your project here now once it loads. Here we go, Python Robotics. From here, hit Add CI Job on the project you want to scan, and take a look at the YAML file if you'd like. By default, we do a full scan of your main and master branch on push and a diff aware scan of every pull request. More information about configuring your YAML file can be found in our docs, specifically here, under diff aware scanning under the CI configuration reference. Once you're ready, hit commit file. At this point, the SEMgrip app will do a few things. It will first create a token associated with your SEMgrip app and add it to the repository you just onboarded as a repository secret, so it can be accessed in CI to send results back to the app. The token can be found under Settings and Tokens. Here we see the token that the SEMgrip app automatically created for you. We'll also add this token manually to your project on your behalf. So if I go to the repository, under Settings, Secrets, Actions, we can see that we have the SEMgrep app token ready to go in the repository. SEMgrep will also commit the GitHub Actions YAML file to your repository, which will trigger a new GitHub action in which SEMgrep will do a full scan of your project and send results back to the app, which should take a few minutes at the most. Let's go ahead and take a look at the scan that we just triggered in GitHub Actions. So we click the SEMgrep scan job and scan, it took 32 seconds. And under Run SEMgrep CI, we can see the log of the scan. We can see what version of SEMgrep we're running, what version of Python we're running. We can see that we're running within GitHub Actions, and the triggering event here was a push directly to the repository. We can see what rules are getting run on how many files, and we can see a log of all of the findings that we discovered when running this scan. Scrolling to the bottom here, at the bottom here, we can see how many findings we had in general. We can see how many of them were actually blocking. So findings that would have prevented a pull request from being merged and how many rules ran. So if we go back to the SEMgrip app, we can actually look at these findings. If I go up to the top here to all projects and instead sort by the Python robotics project that I just scanned, we can filter by this project and see all of the findings that we just got. From here, you can also see that there is a link to GitHub for each finding that shows you the file and line number on which the finding occurred. It shows you the project that the finding occurred in. You can also click on the rule, which will take you directly to the SEMgrip registry to actually look at the rule that triggered the finding. You can see how it was written, what sort of thing this rule was looking for, and other information pertaining to the rule. And that's how you set up SEMgrep with GitHub Actions. Mm -hmm.